Welcome back to a, another Mini Moto Monday where I, Jenna Dettelsting, give you a short and sweet motivational podcast to kickstart your week. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night. Happy Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Whenever it is that you are listening to this, I hope you are having the most incredible day ever. And guys, remember that if your day isn't going the way that you want it to go, you have the power to turn it around and make it better. You and only you can determine that. You can let outside factors really influence you, or you can just say to yourself, you know what, today's going to be a good day, no matter what. Um, as always, guys, if you are enjoying these minis, please let me know. I want to make sure that I am serving and providing you guys with a podcast and content that helps you in every which way. So for today, I had this really interesting topic that I kind of wanted to cover that I know is going to be, it was really hard for me the first time I learned it. And I kind of think and know it's going to be a little bit hard for you. But what if I were to tell you that you need to stop taking things personal? So one of my favorite books of all time, and it's something that I I probably read every every like once a year, honestly, because it's just short and sweet and kind of to the point. And that is The Four Agreements by uh, Don Miguel Ruiz. And the four agreements are the following. Number one is be impeccable with your words. Number two is don't take anything personal. Number three is don't make assumptions. And four is to always do your best. But I want to dive into this idea of why we need to stop taking things personal. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to talk about this and, you know, just give you guys a little bit of ideas and mindsets and perspectives and points of view on why you need to stop taking things personal, which believe me, the first time I heard this, it felt like it like hit a chord in me. And I was like, what the hell are you talking about? Like, no. But before we do that, I have some quick call to action for anyone listening. If this is your first time listening to Bar Talk, guys, welcome on in. Uh, if you are a returning regular or customer of mine, welcome back. I love having you here week in and week out. And I hope that by you coming back in week in, week out, it means that you're enjoying some of the content that I am giving you. Number two, if you are an audio listener, uh, please make sure that you're following the podcast. Okay, guys, leave a five-star rating, write a little review. I know it's annoying when you probably hear podcasters ask you to do this, but believe me when I say a small, quick review helps more than you know. It helps grow the podcast. It helps get more people to come. And I want more people to come to the bar to with us, okay? If you are a video consumer of mine, Hi guys, great to see you. Make sure that you are subscribed on YouTube. Give this video a thumbs up, leave a little comment. And then as always, you can hit the bell notification on YouTube to be notified when any, whenever any new content comes your way. You can follow us along at Bar Talk with Jenna on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. We have minis on Mondays, full episodes on Thursday, drink of the week on Fridays. And I guess now, I, I can say this now, um, all college football season, guys, you can see me on Saturdays um, under the Believe Network and Are You Serious Sports where I, where I will be whipping up drink cocktails for you guys, okay? Um, as you guys know, I'm a bartender and what doesn't go well together like drinking in the SEC. So if you if that's something that you're interested in, you can come and hang out and you can also get prepared for football. So um, but if that's not your cup of tea, don't worry about it. All right, guys, let's dive into this topic of stop taking things so personal. OK, so throughout this episode, I'm kind of going to be referring to this book, The Four Agreements, that I had talked about um, a little bit prior. So when I read this, it really kind of struck a, a chord in me because sometimes I feel as if our society teaches us to take everything personal. And that's not always a great way to view life. And I'm going to explain to you why. So I'm one of those people that when I read a book, I underline and highlight things so I can like look back at the important stuff. And the very first thing that I under that I that I underlined in this book is called personal importance. OK, and it's personal importance or taking things personal is the maximum expression of selfishness because we make the assumption that everything is about me. Nothing another person 
does is because of you. It is because of themselves. Now I want to kind of explore that a little bit. Okay. And I had someone say to me once, and this is what really helped kind of kickstart this idea and this thought process is, do you know, no one thinks about you as much as you think about you? Okay. No one, not even your parents and your parents love you. Don't get me wrong. Like the people in your life love you. They care about you. Of course they think about you, but I can 100% promise you that they think about themselves more. You think about yourself more than anyone else. Now flip the roles. If we If you're in a situation where you're always thinking, you're thinking about yourself. And again, it's human nature. Like we're in our own brains more than anyone else is in our own brains. Right. But if you're always thinking about yourself and, and again, it's not necessarily, it's not a bad thing, but when you're thinking about you, you're never going out of your way vindictively to hurt another person. So the same is in the reverse because a person that maybe you're friends with, maybe that you work with a family member a significant other, they're never going out of their way to personally hurt you. So it's not personal. Okay. And that's a really tough, like take your shoes off and step into another person's shoes. And when you realize that nothing is personal in life, I promise there's this like weight that comes off your shoulders and you feel a little bit more relaxed. You don't feel as, um, what's the word I'm looking for? You're not as angry. Yeah. When you finally realize that no one is going out of their way to hurt you because people have their own shit that they got to deal with. And that means that What they are doing, they're doing because of themselves. They're doing because they think it's what's best for them. They're doing that for them. They're never doing it to hurt you. No one is going out of your way to be manipulative to hurt you because everyone always thinks about themselves. Okay, and it's back to that line. Personal importance or taking things personal is the maximum expression of selfishness because we make the assumption that everything is about me. In that case, guys, not everything is about you. No, not everyone is always thinking about you. They're just not. They're thinking about themselves. They're trying to figure out what is the best thing to do for them. And the other part in this book that just really... Again, like, God, I underlined so so much in this, but this part is really good. And it says, and this is from the author, Miguel. And he says, no, I don't take it personal. Whenever, whatever you think, whatever you feel, I know is your problem and not mine. It is the way you see the world. It is not personal because you are dealing with yourself, not with me. Others are going to have their own opinions according to their belief system. So nothing they say about me is really about me. It is about them. The follow-up says, you may even tell me, Miguel, what are you saying? What what you are saying is hurting me, but it is not what I am saying that is hurting you. It is that you have wounds that I have touched by what I have said. You are hurting yourself. That's kind of a, a deeper topic, which I guess we can kind of get into. But again, in reading that, you can say something or someone can say something to you but it doesn't mean they're trying to hurt you. It means that it's touched something inside of you that it's touched a wound, a little trigger wound, a little trauma wound. means you got to deal with it. Don't take anything personal because by taking things personal, you set yourself up to suffer for nothing. Do you hear that? That's the best line in this book. I'm going to read it one more time. Don't take anything personal because by taking things personal, you set yourself up to suffer for nothing. Do you want to suffer? Do you want to be in pain? No, no one does. You should be in a constant state of joy and happiness and bliss and peace. And you do that by not taking things personal. You do that by realizing that what another person is projecting onto you has actually nothing to do with you and it has everything to do with themselves. I promise you guys, it is so easy to read people. 
it's hard. It, it, it's a skill at first. Don't get me wrong. But when you realize that when a person says something to you, okay, and you don't necessarily agree with it, it th this person is, is showing you exactly who they are. They're telling you who they are. They're showing you their scars, their wounds. And it's beautiful if a person is willing to tell you that. It's amazing, actually. And remember that what a person projects onto you, it doesn't have to do with you. Think think about it. Like I, I'll, I'll give you guys an example. Okay, maybe maybe this will help. Um, a friend of mine was going through. She's she was dating a guy. Okay, she's dating this guy, and this guy reminded me a lot of the guy I had just previously dated that I do not date anymore. And I remember thinking, I I told her flat out, I'm like, listen, I don't really want to give you advice right now because I'm going to be projecting everything that I just went through onto you. And that's not fair to you. So I'm not coming from a clear state of mind because I'm coming from a slightly jaded, I guess you could say wounded place where like I've, I've closed that chapter. Am I at peace with it? Yes, I'm at peace with it. But I don't really think that I'm the person that should be talking to you about any of this right now. Now, I could have easily told her and said to her everything that I had gone through, everything that I had felt, and, and just project all of my baggage and emotional scars and wounds on her that happened with dating this, this previous guy, right? But what good does that do? Why should I project everything that has gone on to me onto another person? Okay. It doesn't help her. It doesn't help me either. You know, it, it just doesn't. I say all of that because it could have been very easy for me to say to her, like, you should listen to me and you're going to be in pain because of this and blah, 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 blah. But there's, but why? Like, why, why would, what, what, at the end of the day, it's like, what is the point in doing that? And on the reverse end for my friend, if I said all of those negative things to her, she could have been hurt by what I had said. She could have taken everything that I said really personal because she's in it where I'm out of it. And had I projected everything onto her and had she taken it personal, the, the truth is what I'm saying to her has actually nothing to do with her situation. It's everything to do with my situation. It's not, it's not necessarily about her. The, the information I would have relayed would have been about me. And it would have been about my pain and my suffering and projecting that onto her. And I could have easily done that. I said to her flat out, I'm like, I'm not going to do it because I just don't see, I don't see the point in it. So I didn't. And I didn't want to because again, back to this line, don't take anything personal because by taking things personal, you set yourself up to, to suffer for nothing. So why, like, why would you want to suffer? Why would you want to be in pain? And when you can get to a place within yourself and, and when you can get into, again, it's like, I would say it's like getting into alignment with you, right? Getting, getting good and centered, not being so like wobbly and offbeat and uh, 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 it's, it's just getting good. And when you can listen to you and, and hear what it is that you have to say and be good with yourself, it, it, it's, you're not what people throw at you or what people say to you, you're going to, you're going to soon learn. It has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with them. It has nothing to do with you and has everything to do with them. Okay. And in the beginning, this like learning not to take things personally, we've been trained. We, we've we like, I feel like our entire upbringing is like, we've, everything is personal, right? Like this is personal. This information is personal when it's like, no, it's not, it's not personal because you have no idea what that person's going through. You have no idea the, everything that has happened in their life that has led them to, to say what it is or, or, or to feel the way that they're feeling. 
It actually has nothing to do with you. Nothing. I promise you, like you are the most important person in your life, but to another person, you're fucking nothing. You don't matter to them. Okay. Like you don't, you have your people that matter and that's harsh. That's a really harsh thing to say, but I know that no one thinks about me as much as I think about me. No one, no one thinks about you as much as you think about you. Only you think about you that much. So if you know that only you think about you as much as you think about you. Why would anyone go out of their way to hurt you and make it personal to you? Because if we know that this, that this agreement is to not take things personally and that no one thinks about you as much as you think about you, you know that this person is not coming to hurt you. Okay. I want to end this with with this this last part of this chapter okay and this is what it says talks about if you keep if you if you can follow through with this agreement if you can keep this agreement you can travel around the world with your heart completely open and no one can hurt you you can say i love you without fear of being ridiculed or rejected. You can ask for what you need. You can say yes, or you can say no. Whatever you choose without guilt or self-judgment, you can choose to follow your heart always. Then you can be in the middle of hell and still experience inner peace and happiness. You can stay in a state of bliss and hell will not affect you at all. Seems extreme. But what if it's right? What if you learned to just be good with you and then nothing else that came in your way bothered you? Think about what you would gain from that. Think about think about what you would gain from not taking things personal. Think about, maybe your anxiety would go down. Maybe you would just be relaxed. Maybe by learning to listen to yourself, you would never have doubt again. What if you just were like in a complete state of love with you? I think that would be pretty nice, right? Just be good with you. And when you're really good with you, you don't really care what other people say to you because it doesn't matter. And when you when you get to that state, you'll learn that whatever a person throws at you has nothing to do with you. And in return, you learn to take things not so personal because you're good with yourself. You're at peace with yourself. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I, I, I suggest this book to everyone, The Four Agreements. It's short. I'm not going to lie. It's a little bit of like not super proper English because I think it's been translated, but I really love it and I love the message behind it. So highly recommend that you all get this book. All right, guys, I really appreciate you hanging out with me today. And as always, I hope you all take the time today to realize that we have way more in common with each other than we have different. I will see you next time. Take care. Oh,